Jadev is back at it here to give everyone another Walking Dead Season 4 episode review video. But before I get into that, it's extremely important if you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching The Walking Dead for you to pay attention to that episode title. I'll even put that episode title in the description for you. And if that's the case and you find out that you're not caught up, I suggest that you stop watching this video simply to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be The Walking Dead Season 4, episode number 11. The title of this episode is called Claimed. This will be my review, reaction, recap of the episode. It's an episode I've seen a few times. Just reviewing it for the channel to have it on the channel. And because they announced that Season 11 of The Walking Dead will be the final season of the main Walking Dead show, that probably doesn't end The Walking Dead story, but the end of The Walking Dead show as we know it. So... In the wake of their escape from the Walker overrun prison, Tara and Glenn are picked up by Abraham, Rosita, and Eugene in their military vehicle as they drive north. After recovering from the past day, Glenn insists that Abraham stop so he can look for Maggie and the other survivors from the prison. Of course, Abraham refuses, stating that he and Rosita are on a mission to bring Eugene to Washington, D.C., as Eugene is a scientist and he knows how to stop the Walkers once there. Glenn and Abraham get into an argument, drawing a small group of walkers towards them. They actually get into a fist fight, too. And then, as they start to fire upon the walkers, Eugene fumbles with his weapon and accidentally shoots the truck's gas tank uh, with the walkers uh, dealt with. They uh, are forced to, later in the episode, abandon the truck and then follow Glenn and Tara uh, north. Now, meanwhile, Rick, Michonne, and Carl having regrouped in an abandoned home, are eating breakfast when Michonne makes a comment about soy milk for their cereal. And Carl replies he would rather have baby formula than soy milk, but this unfortunately causes him to recall the apparent loss of his newborn sister Judith, and he leaves the table. Now Rick thanks Michonne for trying to help and being a friend to Carl. Later, Carl and Michonne decide to go on a supply run. And Rick tries to come with, but Michonne orders him to get some rest and recover from his injuries. Because Rick is beat the fuck up right now. And then Rick goes to bed in an upstairs bedroom as they leave. Michonne and Carl bond more during their run. With Carl learning about Michonne's son, Andre, who we didn't know that she even had a son, uh, that she lost in the apocalypse once at the beginning. And then once in one house, they come across a child's room where, well, Carl does, or Michonne does where um, the family appear to have committed suicide together. Now, recalling her son and her sad memories, Michonne blocks Carl's view of the room do, you know, based on what he's going through right now. Uh, though Carl offers that Judith and Andre are in heaven together. Rick is awoken by noises in the house as he's laying there alone, Discovering a small band of scavengers are inside. He hides under the bed as one takes a nap on it. Another scavenger demands uh, that they give up the bed, having no claim to it. The two get into a fight during which one of them spots Rick under the bed. Before he can issue a warning, though, the other knocks him unconscious and then he falls asleep. So he was on the ground and then he moves to the point where he's looking at Rick and then he got knocked out or whatever. I don't know what exactly happened. And so... At some point, Rick eventually sneaks out when the other scavengers shout on discovering signs of Michonne freshly washed clothes. So they feel like a woman has been there. And is a woman is nearby with a bunch of horny men. They, they want fresh meat. So Rick is trying to flee the house, but he gets discovered by another scavenger in the bathroom. As Rick runs in the bathroom and the scavenger is taking a shit on the, uh, the can there. In order to stay hidden and undetected the, by the other members of the group, Rick quickly fights him and begins strangling him. Although this guy attempts to grab a pair of scissors on the nearby counter to stab Rick with, Rick ultimately strangles him to death before escaping out the window. Now Rick climbs out the window from the house to try to sneak away, but his path is blocked by Joe. This is like the leader of this group. Uh... And uh, he can. And then eventually Rick actually spots Michonne and Carl returning. And Rick is about to make a, a distraction. And uh, when someone shouts from inside due to uh, the guy in the bathroom becoming a walker, 
draws Joe's attention away, allowing Rick to run and warn Michonne and Carl to go away. Let's get the hell out of here. And then, of course, we know that Abraham, Rosita, and Eugene are following Tara and Glenn north. And now we know the three continue Rick, Carl, Michonne traveling and encounter a sign near the railroad tracks stating that sanctuary for all lies down the ways of the train tracks. So that's the end of the episode. Nothing too... Yeah, it's, it was missing to me. It was nice to see, you know, Abraham, Rosita, and Eugene. I thought the Rick stuff was kind of lame, him hiding under a bed, though he needed rest. The Mon and Michonne and Carl stuff was, was pretty deep. As far as the score of this episode, I'm going to give it a 7.9 out of 10. It was okay, but it felt like it was missing something. And then the character of the episode, I'm going to give it to Michonne. Michonne was pretty good in this episode, although you could give it to Glenn, maybe even Abraham. But I'm going to give it to Michonne because we learned more about Michonne's character, and that's why she takes the cake here. So you've heard what I had to say. Guess what? It's your turn. So if you're a fan of Walking Dead and you like this season and you like this episode, go ahead and smash that like button. If you or anybody else that would be interested in listening or watching these videos, go ahead and share the video with them. Let them know they can just share it with anybody else that they, they want. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section. That can be your score of the episode, your favorite moment of the episode, your character of the episode, your favorite episodes of The Walking Dead, your favorite characters, your least favorite characters. Anything you want to put in the comment section, that's where to do it. And I'll respond to all comments. And then, of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to this channel, join the team, show your support, and be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.